Hi. So today I'm bringing to you the natural makeup look. I put a picture on the other day of the finished look and um, I said to you before when I was asking for different makeup looks, this was kind of the second one that people were interested in um, seeing. So I'm going to start off with that today. So I've just applied a um, quite a sheer tinted moisturiser and some lip balm and that's all I've got on. Okay, so I'm going to start with popping a little bit of foundation on. So I've got this by The Ordinary. I'm going to put some of that on the back of my hand. And I'm going to use my Real Technique sponge. I'm just going to warm that product up on the back of my hand. And then pop that down in areas that I just need to even out my skin tone. So I'm popping the product centre areas of my face and then working out, not really applying any more product when I get to these areas. So I'll go and grab a little more product from the back of my hand. Again, apply it to the centre part of my face. I have quite uneven skin tone and areas of redness that I really hate. Um, so I quite like a medium to full coverage. But you may just prefer using a BB cream or tinted moisturiser or something that's got more of a sheer coverage. Use whatever suits you. So yeah, I don't tend to choose matte products because I like my skin to look more luminous. Um, I don't like it to look too flat and it can do with dry and dehydrated skin. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to use my MAC Concealer Palette. This is the Pro Conceal and Correct Palette. Um, it's got various different shades on the back, so you'll need to go into MAC and they will suggest which shades are better for your skin tone. So there's a few of these and they go from light, medium to dark. So I'm going to take, I've got a smaller version of that sponge now, and I'm going to take, I'll probably have to mix, so maybe this one and that one. So I'm just going to use a little bit to conceal on the inner corners of my eye. This gets rid of any darkness in that area as well. I'm just going to bring that a little bit over the eyelid too. Not too much, because you don't want it to build up and look drying. And after I've done my eyeshadow, I'll finish with a little bit more concealer anyway, just to clear up any da fall down from the eyeshadow. So I just want to put a little bit on now, just around the areas of the nose where I might get a little bit of redness. And any on my forehead. So I'm going to use this palette here by Doll 10. Some really nice shades in it. Let's have a look at all of them. So you've got a mix there of some matte and some satin. Darks and lights. So a really good palette actually for um, achieving various different looks. Neutral to you can get some uh, nice smoky look there with these dark ones. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with this colour here. And I'm going to place that all over the eye. This has got a little bit of shimmer to it. And I'm just placing that product down. Just 
So you can use whatever colours you like for this really. To achieve whatever kind of look you like, whether it to be sort of a, a real sort of natural no makeup makeup look, or you do want a bit of pop of colour on the eyelid, which I quite like. Then I'm going to use my shadow base brush, my Real Techniques one. So you see how the hairs are a bit more splayed on this brush? This is really good for blending. So the more dense the bristles are, the more product you're going to get in that area on the eye. So I just really want to take a little bit of product. So I'm going to go in with this dark one here but I'm not going to pick too much of the dark product up I'm going to tap off any excess and then I'm going to work in the outer corners of the eye I was going up to the brow bone where I want to be sort of blending it away So again, put a little bit more product on, blend it, and then see how it looks. Best to do it that way than go in with a lot of the product and then you feel like you're put, you've put too much on. So I'm going to bring that product all the way in there to give it some depth and contour to the eye. And again, just build up to whatever kind of look you want to achieve. So I quite like getting quite a bit of contour to the eyelid. I'm just going to turn that brush around and blend at the top. Okay, so now I'm going to go with my Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal, which is, it needs to sharpen actually. <laughs> so this is that flesh tone colour, which I'm pretty sure I used in the last video. So I'm going to put that in the waterline of the eye. All the way across. And then in the other. So this really brightens and opens the eye area up. When you put it on, it looks quite bright, but it does die down. And then I'm going to take my Real Techniques smudger brush. And I'm going to go in with that same colour that I used to contour. I'm just going to get a little bit on the brush. And I'm going to bring that under the eye. just in the outer corners and then almost blend it away. So sometimes I'll do my eye makeup but not completely finish it and then move back to the skin, maybe do some contouring, some blush, some bronzer and then move back again to the eyes. So I can see it sort of building up to whatever level I want to achieve. So next I'm going to use, I've got a Daniel Sandler waterproof eyeliner. And that's in brown velvet. Now it's a waterproof one. You have to work quite quickly with these. So I'm just going to add this to the outer corner of my eyes, really close to the roots of my lashes. And I'm barely kind of going halfway I'm using that same smudger brush. such beautiful weather today and all I can hear is the birds singing the sunshine and it's, it's so nice but I'm living in fear that someone's just gonna rev up a lawnmower any second while I'm doing this video <laughs> so 
So I'm just going back in with any more that I think I need and again blending that out. I'm going to bring it out slightly and then almost go to the outer corner of my bottom lashes and bring that up. And then again, smudge it away. And then again, I'm just going to bring a touch of that underneath. This is great if you have really watery eyes like I do. See, the more waterproof, the better. And it's quite gentle and um, it's quite soft on the eyes. So it doesn't drag choose to use um, eyeshadow if you like you don't have to use a um, coal pencil or waterproof so you could go back into your palette and you get a touch of the the real darkest and you can even just press that along the lash line it gives a really nice soft look so if you don't have an eye pencil or you just like the colour of what you've got in your palettes. And just use that. So just blend a bit of the shadow. Obviously I'm blending it over the top of the pencil that I've just used. So I'm perhaps going to get a little bit more payoff here for colour. Okay, I'm just going to show you the difference as well. So I've got the um, the flesh colour tone eye pencil on that inner waterline. I think it's really nice because it does open up the eyes. Um, but I am a massive fan of wearing black on the waterline a lot. So I'm just going to do one eye for you so you can see the difference. And then you can kind of choose for whatever look you want to go for. So obviously the dark on the waterline is going to close that eye up just that little bit more. So you'd use this in a smoky eye as well. But I'm just going to put it on this eye for you so you can really gauge the difference of how it makes my eyes look. I'm just going to pop that over the top of the one that I've already got. Also, I'm going to go in and tight line the top water line so put some black all along the top and then the same on the other side so I'm just going to do the top liner but keep the bottom with the flesh color tone I think you can see the difference there now for me personally I much prefer this eye but it's completely up to you like that's what it should be about. It should be about experimenting with makeup and seeing what, what kind of looks you like the best. So I'm just going to match this up now. Okay, so that's both eyes done. Right, I'm going to grab my MAC contouring palette. I had someone ask me about contouring the other day. Claire, if you're watching, this bit's for you. So I'm going to take my setting brush, the techniques. So it's quite a small tapered brush. And I'm going to take this middle colour here. It's quite important to get the right colour when you're contouring. So obviously you don't want to go in too dark if you're really fair, because then it's just so much more noticeable. And I, I don't contour that much, but I like to do it every now and again but I don't like that kind of stripe um, look of it so when I put it on I kind of I'm in that same place so you want to go underneath your cheekbone so I'm placing it in the same place but I'm almost doing small circles So it's just more of a natural look. OK, 
okay that's both sides done so like I said, this is me moving sort of around the face now to really build up that look. So obviously I haven't finished off the eyes yet. But I will go back to them. Okay, a touch more on the brush. Just down the sides of my nose. This is ever so lightly. The more natural it looks, the better. And then I'm just going to change to a bigger brush. So that's that one there. I've already been using this. So I'm going to go under the jawline. lightly around my hairline now I'm not a fan of blusher mainly because I have quite red undertones in my skin um, but I am going to pop some on today so these I absolutely adore they are Daniel Sandler watercolour blushes so just give them a little shake and I'm just going to pop a bit this is in the colour Lux. It's in the colour Lux. So I'm just going to pop a bit on my hand and I'm going to go in with this is my contour brush. Tiny bit there. The payoff of colour is actually really good on these. So I'm only going to use a little bit. Uh, apples of my cheeks and then on this blender so actually I've put way too much on but look how much I put on and I only need the tiniest amount they last such a long time and just build up to however much colour you want on And wipe that away and then I go back over just with my um, foundation sponge and just go back over that blusher just to tone it down there's a little bit too much color in it for me it looks so natural okay let's go back to the eyes so I'm just going to quickly curl my lashes so I'm going to use a L'Oreal Waterproof False Lash x Fiber Extreme Resist Mascara. That is a mouthful to say. So this end first. See, quite a buildable mascara. Quite a few of these duo end mascaras out there. With fiber lash builders in them but you can use whichever mascara you prefer I always go for a black or an ultra black I just love that look okay I'm just gonna run some mascara on my bottom lashes okay so next I'm gonna pop on some highlighter and this again is from the Daniel Sandler range and it's sort of a, a frosty kind of, it's called Moon Glow. So I'm just going to use my finger for this. And I'm going to pop it all along the top of the cheekbone. Top of the brow bone. So then that highlighter just meets where we've blended that eyeshadow out. Just to finish the eyes, I'm just going to go in with 
I think just this light colour here. Tiny bit of my brush and I'm just going into the inner corners and just to lighten that area up. Just a tiny bit but I think it actually makes such a huge difference. I'm just going to finish off my brows. Okay you can go over and add a little bit more highlighter and perhaps you've got a little bit of fall down from the eyeshadow. I'm just going to put a tiny bit. I'm going to leave that for a few seconds. I feel like it blends in more when I leave it. And then I'm going to find my Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush. Um, I'm just going to lightly blend that away. It just lifts that eye area a little bit more underneath. Okay, next we're going to go in with the lips. Now again, by keeping it quite natural, nude. So I'm just using this NYX uh, lip pencil in Toulouse. And I'm actually going to use this to go all over the lips. And I'm going to use like the edge of the, the lip pencil. You don't have to be perfect with this. Now, what I'm going to do is grab a brow pencil. And I'm just going to show you how I make my lips look a little bit fuller. So, just lightly. I'm going to put it on the outer corners run it all the way along and then I'm going to go back with my lip pencil and I'm just going to blend that away so like you're blending the two together See how that just creates a little bit of shadow around the lips? And then I'm just going to use a little bit of MAC gloss. This is a Versicolor stain in Energy Shop. Now obviously like I've still done quite a few techniques and used quite a bit of makeup in this natural makeup look but I wanted to show you different variations that you can then pick and choose from this to then apply to your own look that you wanted to achieve so you don't have to do all of this to achieve a full-on natural look for yourself but you can just take bits from it I mean you can completely copy it that's absolutely fine that's what it's here for um, but if you wanted to take little bits from it to then go on and achieve a look for yourself with other products and that's perfect too. I'm just forming that product up and I'm literally going to pop just a little bit in the centre. Just going to finish with a little bit of bronzer. to give us that sun-kissed look as we've now got the weather to match so 
there you have it your finished natural makeup look and um i just wanted to say to you all that the rainbow tutorial video that i put up last week so that's my first one um i just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody for liking for commenting for sharing and for giving me such support um i've got great feedback from that video so um that really blew my mind so thank you so much to those of you that did it really means a lot to me so thank you so much um, now I have set up my own YouTube page so feel free to follow me over there I'll be uploading the videos there too as well as on Facebook and Instagram and follow me yeah follow me there and then like I said before I'll be bringing you one video a week uh, possibly going on to lives as well and um, hopefully just keeping you a little bit more entertained with makeup tips and tricks and techniques throughout this time. I hope you're all safe and well, take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!